Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I am here to talk about what I would actually, it kind of is a leak. In reality it is a leak so we're just going to leave it at that. Now it's from a real credible person, we have word on the last word, the Thunderlord, the Black Armour DLC and a few other bits and bobs people but before we go any further if you guys do enjoy the video and would like to show support you can by hitting that like button it really does help me out and I do appreciate that also if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe. Okay so a post on Reddit was dropped by someone known as Anon the Nine who is known to drop early information which is 99% of the time it turns out to be correct he did this with the Forsaken, Warmind, Osiris, and it seems as though he's doing this with the next coming DLC events. So he states, and I quote, The new horde mode in Black Army, where the more you survive, the better the loot will get. Sounds cool. Oh, and also Thunderlord in the Festival of the Lost. So first up, the Black Armory. We had minor details on this DLC. We know it drops later this year, and we know the basics of the DLC so far. A little bit of info stated by Bungie can be seen on screen now. Sight players more. So the three that are, are coming, Black, Armory, Black Armory, Armory, Joker's Wild, Joker's Wild Penumbra. and Penumbra. Yeah. What if there was this elite group of crafters who created some of the most notorious weapons in the Destiny universe, and you're gonna get exclusive access to this vault that has the greatest weapons ever created in the Golden Age. So an elite group of crafters who created some of the most notorious weapons in the Destiny universe, and we get access to this vault. It's all we know so far, but it's all about epic looking loot. That's all we need to know. But with this minute bit of information, it seems as though Loot from the Black Armour will be coming via a Horde mode, where the longer you survive, the better it gets. That sounds amazing to me. Pretty sure it's confirmed we will get a raid layer also, but that's not a part of this leak. But that also would be fun. So a Horde mode, what do you guys think about this? Let me know down below within that comments section. The longer you survive, the better that loot gets. I mean, they could take this many, many different ways, so it sounds cool. Also mention of the Thunderlord coming with the Festival of the Lost. This event has been confirmed, okay. and so have Heavy Machine Guns. We saw a glimpse of one during the Bungie V-Duck Forsaken Launch and Beyond video. I say God a lot in these things. <laughs> the start of each one of the seasons, and there'll be four of them a year, is where we're going to reset and refresh events and rituals and holidays that players are going to want to play and that will have rewards available to every player. The machine gun we saw actually looks like the Thunderlord. It could actually have been that weapon, I think it was people. But either way, this leak suggests it will be coming with the Festival of the Lust, which will be here before you know it guys, along with many other machine guns thrown into that power weapon slot. I can't wait for these people, I really missed them from D1. The Swarm, the BTRD, the Corrective Measure and many many others I absolutely loved and do miss. So what about the last word, an exotic many many people want to see return. Any information on this weapon making a return? Well yes, there is. Someone specifically asked Anon the Nine if the last word is coming back. He replied with a simple message of the Black Armour. So there we have it guys, it seems as though this dude who knows his shit states the last word is returning for the Black Armour DLC. So I can't wait. It was only a matter of time before this weapon made the return anyway because everybody's been calling for it. I actually think it would fit in great right about now. What do you think? I think the way PvP is right now, the last word would be an amazing weapon. Now if you could pick one of the three following exotics to make a return, last word, icebreaker or galhorn, which one would you choose? I'm curious to know. Let me know down below within that comment section guys. Also the link to this reddit post can be found within the video description. If you think it's BS, go and have a read at the comments more stating how reliable this guy's early information is. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.